Senator Rafi Tulfo at Congressman Marco Leta, nagaisang binotata si Senator Risa Honteveros. Kung bago ka pa lang dito sa YouTube channel ko, please like the video and subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para mas magiging updated ka sa susunod na mga video. Senator Risa Honteveros, binutataan ni Senator Rafi Tulfo, matapos ang walang tigil na korupsyon patungkol sa PhilHealth na pinangungunahan ni Senator Risa Honteveros. Nababalitaang ang National Children's Hospital ang isa sa pinakakawawang hospital na wala man lang ginawang pagtutok ang Department of Health para sa mga pasyente doon. Narito ang buong retalye ating panuuren. Pero nabanggit niyo po yung National Children's Hospital and uh, kalunos-lunos nga po yung uh, sitwasyon doon. Uh, you say, Kenneth Ronquillo, sa DOH po kayo? How long have you been working with the DOH? More than two decades na po. Two decades, that's 20 yes. years. Nakapasyal ho ba kayo sa National Children's Hospital? Yes, sir. Sure ka? Uh, yes, sir, because when was that? we conduct meetings when at the National Children's conduct Hospital. Conduct meetings. So. Uh, what kind of meetings is it? Sa Saan ka banda doon sa NCH pupunta? Sa Saan ka banda ka doon pupunta? Uh, well, these are uh, meetings of the DOH na nakakonduct po kuminsan sa National Children's Hospital. Which, which floor? First, second, third? Anong floor doon? At anong sa, party doon sa NCH? Sa, sa, office of the, uh, sa office of the director, sir. Office of the director. And then yes. after, after the meeting, ano pong ginagawa ninyo doon? Kasi po, I'm going to make it short. Yes, sir. Um, Tayo po sa mga taga-NCH, simula po nang itinatag yung NCH, may isang kalulunan doon po ng taga-DOH, official DOH, wala rin pong dumalaw doon para tingnan yung sitwasyon nila. Well, mo po siguro magsisinungaling yung mga official doon, ano? I, I don't think that they will lie to me na buti ka pa po napunta rito. Pero Grabe, no? isang official ng DOH, wala mo pong pumasyal dito para tingnan yung kalunos-lunos na kalagayan namin dito, kalunos-lunos na kalagayan ng mga pasyente rito. Di ba? So, two decades, sir, I don't know if you're lying or not, but anyway, pumunta man po kayo doon, lanang inyong DOH secretary, try to visit that facility. Kawawa po yun. And eh, siguro, pag nag-visit kayo, doon, sir, may kita nyo na talagang yung needs ng hospital na yun, ng mga, ng mga bata na doon, at kung paano po ma-address yung mga pangailangan nila. Okay, sir? Yes, sir. Of course po. Pangalawa, sir, yung sa telemedicine. Okay, yaman nila pinag-usap ng telemedicine. Um, marami kasi sa mga OFWs nagreklamo sa akin na bakit ka mga <coughs> uh, gina inoobliga uh, na magbayad ng premium sa Peel Health. Now, uh, Senator JB sent me with this document, and I think this document comes from you. Ama. Now, this contradicts dun sa mga reklamo ng mga FWs na hindi rin nila pinapakinabangan. Napapakinabangan yung uh, Peel Health premium na binabayar nila. Kasi, example, 2021, 210 million ang totally collected premiums from the OFWs. Tama. And then the claims paid for that particular year was 1.42 billion. So ibig sabihin talagang sobra-sobrang pakinabang ng mga FWs. Grabe. Right? And then same on 2020, 340 million. And the claims paid 1.36 billion. Is, it accurate? Is this accurate record? And then it goes on and on. Pataas ng pa one, uh, no, uh, 2019, one point Bill, million ang uh, nakolekta. Millions to, right? Not billions. Yes, sir. 1.2 million. Billion. Ah, oh, sorry. Okay. 1.2 billion. Um, and then 2.7 billion ang claims paid. So, lumilitaw na talagang sulit na sulit. Ano po? Mas malaki pa yung nababayan ng claims versus sa premiums collected. So, bakit po ang dami pa rin mga OFWs nagreklamo na wala kami pakinabang dyan. Bayad kami ng bayad. And bakit saan yung bayad namin? So, hindi po tumutugma. Maliban na lamang, maliban na lamang, kung ito ay tumutugma doon sa tumalat na mabalita noon na marami sa mga clinics at mga doktor nagpa-file ng mga bogus claims. Ano po sa palagay nyo, Yusek? 
uh, Senator Tulfo may differ that who uh, feel health regarding po sa feel Probably uh, newly <laughs> The President of PhilHealth, Emmanuel De Desma, can answer. I don't know if I can assume it, but surely anybody from PhilHealth can answer. I will answer, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor, Your Honors. My answer would be, in human nature, because people are always hoping for more. I think generally, regardless of your status in life, Very few are really satisfied, no. Palaging sana mas mataas, sana mas marami, no. So I think we will. I will answer your question by looking at the facts. And okay, so sir, may I interrupt just a minute? Just a second. Yes, sir. Hoping for more, hindi kontento yung ibang tao. So ibig mong sabihin sa kim at greedy mo if dumalis natin? Is that what you mean? Hindi po. I I was saying. Sir, please don't use those words. Nakakaoffend po na hindi kontento kasi. That's tantamount to saying that people are greedy and and sakim in Tagalog. Okay. I apologize. Your support, sir. I apologize for the comment, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. What I wanted to highlight, Your Honor, is um, I feel that uh, I will have to disagree um, with the, the OFWs because okay. you can use that word. Pero wag yung hindi makontento. Okay? Yes, po. Kasi, if sinabi mo, hindi ba kontento, ang kasunod niyan, ang definition niyan ay sakim. Yes, po. Kasi yung mga tao, hindi ba kontento, sakim ang tawag doon sa atin sa Tagalog. Ano po? So, in English, is greedy. Huwag niyo pong bigyan ng that kind of image yung ating mga OFW, especially. Okay, po. Again, again, my apologies, Your Honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you, po. So, I would like to use the chart which your good honor mentioned earlier, Mr. Chair. Where it clearly shows for the year 2021, the premiums collected was 0.21 or 210 million, but the claims paid was 1.42 billion. Okay. So I think if we just base this on the chart, and this is very, this is a, the sun is a very accurate chart. Okay. It shows po that it clearly shows po na. Nagbe-benefit po yung mga exactly. tao sa, so they benefit claim, a lot. Sa, claim, sa, sa claims ng PhilHealth po. So, and, did they benefit more uh, versus doon sa kanilang nababayaran premium? Okay, contributions. Okay. Yes po. And uh, I'd like to say much, much more kasi if you look much, at much, much that, more. yung multiplier, ang laki po. Ano? No, no. Yes. Oo nga, no. Okay. So, so again po, mm -hmm. um, uh, and, and again, you know, sorry for the language, but I feel from our end, from Phil Health's end, no, we are doing our part in serving the in serving. Let's go up, Mr. Ledesma, para maklarify kay Sen Rafi. Yung detalye na natin, yung claims paid, sino po ang kumukuha nito? Kasi OFW sabi niya nandun siya sa labas eh. Yes. So ito pang claims paid are members of the family who are still here. Kasi po nito niya dalapo. Kasi po lahat ng lahat ng members ng Phil Health, one hundred percent po, no. So, kunyari may nagko-contribute, kung may mga anak, may mga pamilya. Excuse me, sir. Can you just answer the question of the chair? Sino nagbe-benefit dito sa 1.42? Let's talk, we're, we're talking about the 2021 uh, uh, year. Na premiums paid by the OFW is 20, uh, 2010 million and then 1.42 billion claims paid. Sino po yung nagbe-benefit doon? Yun po yung tanong ni Mr. Chair. Yun sana ang tanong ko eh. Naunahan niya ako. Pakisagot lang po. Yes po. Yeah. Sino po yung mga... Uh, the benefit due to supply is paid. If I can just give a be given a few seconds, no, I will give you the breakdown, po, no. So for hindi sir, eh, pakisagot lam po. Dun sa 1.42 billion na claims paid in 2021 uh, para sa mga OFWs. Yeah. Sino po nag-benefit doon? Mga OFWs ba? O or their families po? Or their families. Yes po. Do you understand the question po? I'm just getting the exact... Pak Pakibigay lang po yung percentage. Siguro po. Yes po. I'm just getting the exact figures po. Sorry, because I don't okay. have it on top of mind po. No? It's already here po. I just... You know what, sir? The answer? The possible answer for me? Family. Kasi, hindi mo natin na yung Rikos mo. Kasi nga, the, ben the OFW will not benefit. The OFW themselves will not benefit because they're out of the country. Yeah. Yes po. <laughs> right to, all you, the, the right answer doon sa ano, yeah. It's the family, the anak, the asawa, etc. We have to look at your efforts. Most likely, po, I was going to say, sorry, Your Honor. Most likely, po, it's the family. Exactly. In line with that, po, if I may add, po, since the families of the OFWs benefit, I think, po, it's also tantamount or it's close to 
OFW benefiting kasi yung pamilya po nila. No, sir. No, sir. Again, wrong choice of words. The, the, the beneficiary are the uh, members of the family who are here, right? Yes. Doon na, na naibayad yung claims. Doon sa pagpapacheck up, pagpapagamot ng mga families na dito. Never na makikinabang dito ang mga OFWs. Tama. Because nandun sila eh. Hindi inoorin yung nandun eh. But, but if you will tell me, meron kayong tinatawag na teleconsult, tumukonsult sa telepo ng mga OFW, then pwede pa. Naniningin yung mga doktor doon sa teleconsult na mga OFWs natin. Meron bang ganun programa ang PhilHealth? OFWs? Yes po. Just to... Um, yes sir, just answer. Yes or no? Y yes. Yes po. The OFWs po can also avail the benefits abroad po. They benefit benefits abroad? How can they do that? How, how do they benefit... Okay. No. Okay, if I can explain po. How, how can they claim I can, if I can yes. abroad? Yes po. From PhilHealth. I had just joined PhilHealth. I know for a fact that they can avail. For the details po on how they can avail po, if I can uh, okay. ask my COO attorney. Okay, please, uh, anybody can answer kasi Thank you, we understand you just assume. Yeah. So anybody from PhilHealth who is more versed dun sa program can answer para maano niyo yung query ni Senator Thank you, Your Honor. Attorney Eli yeah. Santos. Mr. Chairperson, good morning. Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo. Good morning, sir. Sir, an OFW is confined in a hospital abroad he can, he or she can claim, that OFW can claim for reimbursement for the hospital expenses here in the Philippines. All that is needed, all that are needed are the documents pertaining to the hospitalization of that OFW, Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo. So, ilan na po sa mga OFWs ang nag-claim ng reimbursement? Do you have those records? Mr. Chairperson, if I may... Sige po, at magkano na po yung na-reimburse? Yung bang mga dokumento na ay legit? O, tulad na papapalita, bogus, may mga claims na bogus na file binabayaran yung mga bogus claims, kaya nga, muntik, muntik ka na malugi yung PhilHealth. So, please answer, sir, attorney, sir. Honorable Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo, sir. At present, sir, we do not have the data. Uh, Why not? You came here unprepared. You're a lawyer. You should be prepared. Yes, sir. Uh, but we will submit the, the required data, the breakdown, sir, of, of how many of the OFWs submitted their claims for reimbursement here in the Philippines. I need that record. Yes, sir. We will provide the data, sir. Okay. Yes, attorney, please uh, provide this committee so we can also provide the uh, Sen. Rafi. Lahat na nag-reimburse, nag-claim, at yung nabayaran. Yes, sir. We will provide that, sir. Uh, I'll tell you this, attorney. Maybe you don't know this. Yes, sir. Okay. But you know, OFW is not in a doon sa, let's say, sa Saudi. Yung amo nila, pinapagamot sila. Pinapa-hospital sila. And then, pag-uwi ng bahay, okay na sila. Ngayon, sasabihin mo sa akin na this OFW na pinagamot ng kanyang amo, na binayara ng kanyang amo, ng libre, nireimburse niya. Kasi kadalasan, ganun po sir eh. 99.9%, ganun po yung nangyari, na yung amo nila ang nagbabayad sa ospital. Amo nila ang nagpapagamot sa kanila ng libre. But there are times na yung amo nila, eh, sinisingil sila. O yung amo nila, pinapabayaan sila. Pero that's only a function of the numbers of FWs na kakasakit. Mostly, yung amo nila ang nagpapagamot. And then libre. Kaya nga po, kung libre yun, nagpapareimburse ba sila sa inyo? And I need those records. And I need to know, at gusto ko makita yung sino pong kung meron man, gusto makita yung mga pangalan na nagpapareimburse at pumipirma para pwede kong isa-isang tawagan at puntahan para masiguro talagang sila ngayon at hindi po bogus yung claim. Wala po talaga kayong kawala kay Senator Rapi Tulpo. No? Ang, ang matindi pa po dito kay Senator Rapi, uh, ano po yan, yung sinasabi niya gagawin niya kasi kaya niya. Kung kailangan tawagin niya isa-isa yon at kung kahit isa lang ang, uh, ang uh, nagsabi na hindi, hindi totoo yan na may kinlaim kami. Ang laki ng problema niyo dyan. Attorney, sir. Sir Chairperson, Honorable Senator Tulfo, sir, we commit to provide the data, sir, to this uh, committee as soon as possible, sir. But I will suggest to you, Attorney, yaman din lang na dito yung PhilHealth. Wala ho ba kayong teleconsult service? sa mga OFWs, dito magkakaroon siya ng pakinabang. Yung bang 24-7, kasi doon sa mga basic illnesses. Kasi kung minsan, may mga OFWs natin, 
kahit na ito ang kaso yun, gusto lang may makausap sila para matanggal yung stress at panic nila. Na a doctor, on the other hand, will tell them, ganito po yan, huwag kang mag-alala. Ito lang pong ipwede yung inumin ng gamot. And then siguro, uh, makipag-usap kayo sa gobyerno ng uh, host country, nun, kung nasa inyong ating OFW, na i-honor po yung inyong pong, uh, isusulat na uh, reseta or kung ano man yung counterpart doon na medicine sa bansa na yun. Kayo na ba nagagawa ng arrangement? Tama ba ako, PhilHealth? Meron ba tayong teleconsult service? Yes, sir. Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Tulupo at President, sir, uh, we do not have it. We are planning to do it, sir. We realize the significance and importance of telemedicine during the pandemic, sir. Then, only then, magkakaroon ng pakinabang sa inyo, OFW, meron yung servisyo na yan, unless meron yan. Wala yan, walang OFW ang may kinabang. Maliban lang siyang sabi ng reimbursement. And then, kung meron talaga, then gusto ko makita yung records. Noon. Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Please, uh, my, uh, Mr. Desma. I just want to make a quick comment, Your Honor. Um, based on the question of Honorable Senator Rafi earlier, we were able to extract the data po for 2021 and the breakdown po are as follows. No? For the members, the payment, the claims amount was $1.181 billion. Now, for the dependents, the claims amount is 526 million. So to summarize po, mas malaki po yung claims ng member versus the dependents po. So, this, so to, to repeat po, it's 1.181 billion for the members and roughly 526 million for the dependents. Po. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Okay, so ibig mo sabihin na papakinabaga ng halos lahat ng mga OFWs premium nila. Nasasabi ko lang po kanina na marami sa ating mga OFWs, hindi po nagagamit yung PhilHealth sapagkat yung amo po nila ang nagbabayad sa kanilang pagamot na papadokter pag hospital. So, titin ko, you mean to say, sa mga pagamot, ito mga OFWs natin, libre ng kanilang mga amo, sisigilin nila ang PhilHealth mabos sa 1.181 billion? Sir? <laughs> Kakalukuhan po tayo dyan. <laughs> Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo. Sir, the data shows in general the reimbursed amount in terms of, uh, for the dependents and the members. Uh, no, 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 sir. Let's just talk about, sinabi kasi ni Mr. Ledesma na yung claims paid sa member, meaning those sa OFW na nagbabayad ng premium, umabos sa 1.181 billion. Mas malaki pa kaysa doon sa relatives. Pero kung sasabihin niyo mas malaki yung dependence kaysa OFWs, mas kapanipaniwala. This record, kung ba kayo, yung pagtingin niyo, tingnan niyo ulit, magsalamin kayo sa... Kasi kung tama yung sinasabi niyo, then, tas ang kilay ng mga OFWs natin. Bakit? One, sa 1 sa 1.81 billion yung claims nila, samantalang, eh, pag ginagamot sila doon sa Saudi, Kuwait, kung saan man lugar na yun, ano nila ang magpapayad? Libre. Wala pa ako narinig na OFW natin na pagbalik dito sa Pilipinas, sila ay nagkiklaim for reimbursement. I haven't heard of that. I have still to hear about that kind of statement from you, Attorney Santos, sir. Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo, sir. So the data presented earlier by our uh, President and CEO pertains uh, in general to the uh, amount reimbursed to members and dependents. It was for this reason, uh, Mr. Chairperson, Honorable Senator Rafi Tulpo, that we requested that we be given the opportunity to provide this uh, committee the specific data that pertains only to the claims of... But, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, sir, hindi ba, Mr. Ledesma, kayo dyan sa PhilHealth, you, know, you guys are smart. Hindi mo kayo mapupunta dyan o malalagay dyan sa inyong mga posisyon kung hindi kayo smart. Di ba? Mm, Kasi meron mga ginagawang betting ang Malacanang screening uh, for smart people to... Uh, so the different departments of our government, right? So, right. You know, being smart people, the two of you, it defies logic. What I'm saying is, you know, paying 1.181 billion to FWs, oh. na hindi naman sila na uh, hindi naman sila. But po kaya hindi dumalo dito si Senator Rizal Tiberos dito sa hearing natin. Nagbabayad 
uh, ng gamitan sila na sa abroad kundi yung kanilang amo and then pagbalik dito pag uh, kiklaim pa rin sila I'm not questioning yung data ninyo na talagang I'm sure meron kayong ganun data however I'm questioning the legitimacy of that data that you have baka yan na nga po napapabalita yung bang korupsyon malawakang korupsyon sa pill health na may mga bogus claims ito na nga po siguro yun na may nagbatay ng claims on behalf of these OFWs na hindi naman. May fake yung kanilang pirma. Kaya lang, I need those records. Tingnan ko. Isa-isa kung kinakailangan. Pagkukuratan ko yan at ng mga staff ko. Kung talagang sila ngayon nag-claim for reimbursement, eh baka naman hindi sila. Kapag hindi sila, eh dapat may makulong. Yan. Yes, sir. Mr. Ledesma, sir. Dapat may makulong. Your Honor. Um, Your Honor, thank you very much for the question. We fully understand uh, the point you're driving at in your question. So, so with all due respect, Mr. Chair, if we can be given some time, what I will do, I will personally um, submit, we will break down, we will extract. Sa video na inyong napanood, kababayan, ano ang inyong reaksyon at komento ukol rito? Mag-comment lang po kayo sa comment section at huwag rin kalimutan mag-subscribe para mas magiging updated ka sa susunod na mga video. Thank you and God bless!